prove it to you. Come here and stand right here. You still got spirits left? Watch this. You, went, you had deliverance before. You had deliverance before. Okay, that proves you got the Holy Ghost. Okay, there's no question about it. That proves it. Right? If you've ever got healed before, that means that proves you have the anointing. Because demons don't leave on their own. They don't want to leave. Correct? They hate your guts. They want you dead. Correct? <clears throat> Does anybody disagree with anything I'm saying right now? You had demons. Did you ever have demons come out of you? Yeah. Oh, this guy, what's your name? John. This guy, John, has got the Holy Ghost and the anointing yes. to cast out demons. He just told me that. <coughs> Correct? <laughs> if you have the anointing for deliverance, that means you can use it any time you want to. Any anointing God gives you is yours to use at your discretion. You use your knowledge and your wisdom and your free will, and you can use it any way you want to use it. Correct? If God gave it to you, then it's yours. By definition, if you had demons come out of you, or you got healed, that means God likes you. Because He wouldn't associate with you if He, if he didn't. You, I cannot force God to hang out with you if He doesn't want to or like you. I can't force Him to do stuff He doesn't want to do. Correct? I'm just a person. Well, I can't force God to do something. If He cast demons out of you, or if He healed you, that means He likes you. He, he wants to be around you. Does anybody disagree with anything I've said? Please raise your hand so I can make fun of you. <laughs> I'm just simply stating common sense facts. Am I not? Is this not true? This John guy is somebody God apparently likes hanging around. <laughs> I know. You don't like that jacket? You don't believe me. It, it's not the jacket. God, man looks on the outward part. God looks on the heart. This guy is a God person. God likes that guy. He hung around him. You have the anointing and you can use it any way you want to. That's what Paul said. Right? The gifts are subject to the prophets. They use them. Okay? It's the same thing at work. If God, if the boss gives you tools or a computer or whatever, he says, hey, you use it and use it however you think. Well, that's what God did to you. He gave you the anointing for deliverance. This guy's anointing is huge for deliverance. And the, all these demons are flying out of him. Last night at Rick's service, demons flying out, right? Every one of them people that got delivered last night, God wanted to do it. Otherwise, he wouldn't have done anything. You can't force him to do anything he doesn't want to do. You're going to tell God to force him to do something? That's ridiculous. Nobody believes that. And if you got a touch from God, that means he likes you. He wants to be around you. Uh, you're part of the in crowd. <laughs> Isn't just simple common sense? Isn't this what I'm saying 100% true? They're not, okay. He wants to help you. He likes you. He came to you.
We can prove it. Again, would you like to do that? Yeah, watch this. You just put this hand here and that one there. Okay? You got the anointing. That spirit already came out. See that? Guy yawned right there. It just came right up. You have the anointing to cast the rest of these spirits out. Like that. The Bible says, Mark 16, they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. That includes laying your hands on yourself. Did you notice that verse doesn't say except for yourself, does it? No, it's, it includes yourself. You're laying hands on yourself. See that? See that? See your hand there? See the preacher's hand there? Right? Your hands on yourself. And you already have the anointing for deliverance. You already have the anointing for healing because some of you got healed. Didn't you? We can't lose. It's over. There's nothing the devil can do to stop it. The devil makes Christianity so complicated and I try my best to unwind it and make it simple because it's the simplicity of Christ that saves people's lives. It's not all complicated theology. That stuff sucks. It doesn't work. The simplicity of the anointing is the key to being healed and delivered. And you have it. You have it already. You just told me you have it. And if you lied to me, we're going to pray and ask God to point you out. And you will be taken in a back room. You told me you got demons out. And I believe you. I know you told me the truth. Nobody lied. That means you have the anointing. You have it. Close your eyes. Let's go. Thank you, Jesus. Father God, you see all these future deliverance ministers. You see all these future faith healers. You see all these powerful women and men of God standing at my altar. I know you, I know you see them. Come out, devil. I know you see them. They have the anointing for deliverance and healing, and they're going to get healed and delivered right now. All you got to do is use your mind and start screaming at that demon in your mind. Not out loud. Just use your mind. Use your mind first. Step one. Use your mind and scream at that demon in your body. Just scream at him. In the name of Jesus Christ, you filthy spirit. I have the anointing for healing and deliverance. I have the power of God. I've got the love of God. I cannot be stopped. I have had demons come out in the past. And the rest of you are coming out now. Come out of my body now. Come out in Jesus' mighty name now. I have the anointing. I can lay hands on the sick. I can lay hands on the sick and they will recover. And tonight, in Jesus' holy name, I command you, come out of my body right this second. No! Come out right now. Satan, lose your hold. Every foul spirit, you are bound in Jesus' mighty name. I bind your power right now. I bind you in the name of Jesus. Matthew 18. And therefore, thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord. The Spirit of God is upon you, and you will become another man. Tell that demon to come out of your body right now. I command you to go. Say it out loud. Now say it out loud. Spirit, in Jesus' mighty name. I told you to come out. I want you out now. Now. Come out of that body right now. Say it. Come out of there. Come on out right now. Come out of the body right now. There he is. He just jumped right there. He just jumped right there. Come out of that body right now, I said. Get out of my stomach. Come out of my genitals, you pervert. Come out of my genital. Come out right there. Go in Jesus' body name. I command you, Satan. Come out of that body right now. Come out right now, thus saith the Lord. Go in Jesus' body name. Come out, I said. Come out of my body now, I said. Come out now. Come out now. Right now. Go. Right now, go. I told you out. Get out of my body right now. Come out of there. You stinking. Oh, there it Come out right now. I said go now. I said go now. Come out. I said go now. Go right now. You, you'll get on that body right now. 
Get out of me. Come out of me. Come out now. Go. So, go. Satan, go. Satan, go. Come out. Come out. Come out of the body right now. Come out right now. What's left in there? I, I feel something in my chest. The chest right there. Come out right now. Take a breath and blow. Come out, spirit. Come out of his chest, you demon of fear. Come out. Come out there. Get out of my body right now. Come out. Come out of there. Now. Come out now. Come out now. Satan, loose your hole. I said, come out of me. Let my chest go. I have the anointing for deliverance. I have the anointing for healing. Come out right this second. What's in there? What's in there? What's where? Yeah. yeah, what it what's in there? A lot of food, I guess. No, you got any demons in there? I don't think I think I've been delivering since last week. Oh you got delivered? Oh yeah. You're speaking in tongues yet? No, no, okay, no. let's go. Now just repeat after me, you ready? Yes, Loma Shasta. Velo Vasi. Velo Vasi. Velo Baka. Perfect. Now you follow me this time and you add some syllables on your own and just keep going. Gora Shava, Belo Shandre Moshandreva, Shudra Moshatava, Belo Shandre Moshandava Shada, Ula Mashandre Moshadrika, Ura Ramoshandravo Syria, Bendra Moshandravuru. Come out, Satan! Come out, Satan! Satan, come out! Go! Come out of my body right now! Come out right now! Come out right now. Go now. Satan. Go. There it goes. Go. Come out right now. 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 Come out right now. Come out right now. Rejection. Fear. You demons of fear, now go! Speak it out. Any syllable. There, the Here? Gone? Good. Good. Is it gone? No, keep coughing. Come on, keep coughing. Come out, keep coughing. Keep coughing. Come out of that body right now. Come out. Keep coughing. Come out there, you demon of fear. Insecurity. Fear. Cowardice. Low self esteem. Out. Oh. Come out of that body right now. Come out of my body right now. Keep coughing. Go. Keep coughing. Come out. Come out right now. Come out right now. Get out of that body right now. Go. Go, Satan. There it is. Here it comes. Come out right now. Come out there, you rotten devil. Come out, Satan. Come out of that body right now. Go now. Go now. Get out of that body right now. Now go. Get up. Get up. Come on, take command. Everybody, you got to take command. Take command. Let's go. You gotta fight. Come out right now. Yeah, what's wrong with you? Uh, spirit of heaviness. Spirit of heaviness. Where'd that come from? Um, I don't know. I just feel tired lately. Like really tired. Oh, that's not a spirit of heaviness. Oh, that's a, a spirit of heaviness causes depression. Sluggish, fatigue. Oh, that's not that's not a now, uh, were you ever verbally abused when you were little? Uh, were, you, were you hard on yourself later on? You were hard on yourself? Yeah. Now, what happens is, when your body hears you say that about yourself, it's, it's like an autoimmune disease. The body attacks itself.
chronic fatigue syndrome. Okay, go ahead and repent of it. You stop hiding in there. Come out of there. There he is. Come out. Come on. Get out of there. Stop making her tired. She's not tired. That's a joke. You're lying. Come out. Come out, you demon of fear. Go. Come out. You get out of her stomach right now. I know. You're right there. There you are. Come out of there. She commands you to come out. She commands you to come out. Come out. Come out of there. There he is. He's right there. Up in the head of girl. Tell him. Come out of there. Go. Come out of that body right now. Oh, Lord, help her. Go. Go. Okay, that should do it. Now blow. Take a breath and blow. Come out. Come out of there. Blow. Chronic fatigue. I command you to die. Die and come out of the woman of God. She's not going to be hard on herself ever again. Never. Never. Thus saith the Lord, never. Come out of there right now. Go right now. Come out right now. Come out right now. Let's go. Come out right now. Hey, this girl, she used to be really hard on herself. Now she's got chronic fatigue syndrome, a mild version of it. Yeah, I, there's, there's something else wrong with it. I think it's related to fear. I can't figure out what it is. Will you, will you take a look at her and see if you can figure it out? YouTubers, YouTube, listen to me. Put your hands on your body. Can you pray with her? Yeah. Hi, sweetheart. Hey, Mike. Now, what's wrong with you, hon? I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna go. No, you stay here. You got fear demons. Now, were you abused as a kid? Did you get abused as a kid? No, 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 I have a super great upbringing. No, okay. not, not until I was and an adult. And then bad I men? Had, I've, uh, no, I have a, um, I had an issue with alcohol. And now, uh, alcohol, men. Men, men, that's it, see. Now, uh, alcohol is never the problem. That's only a symptom. I just, I go. No, you stay here. Now, uh, she got abused by men. She, she You can tell by. Abused by the same man. Well, we yeah, what do you do? What do you, oh, you grew up together. What do you do to her? Do to her? Huh? What do you do to her? 
Uh, he, he, we call him the deceiver. He's he's done a lot to her. What did um, he do to her? Sex, uh, uh, sexually. Uh, oh, he molested he, he, her. He's complete. No, he was our boyfriend. Uh, he's oh. a man. He's a grown man. And. Uh, what, he yes. made her do things sexually she didn't want to yes. do or something? Yes, he did things What's his name? Craig. C Greg? Craig with the C. Craig, okay. Yeah. Hey, now, uh, sweetheart, listen to me for a second. And also, her ex-husband ex abused her. She said, I'll yeah. Her. Now, uh, whenever a man abuses a woman sexually, a spirit transfers from the man into the woman. It's a fear demon. And they usually hang around this area, fear spirits. They usually hide in here, the torso area. And like your solar plexus? Yeah, around there, here, there. And this fear demon is from Craig. Okay, so all, all we have to do is forgive him. See, and that thing will come out of there and you'll be healed. But if you won't forgive him, you're going to die. I forgive them. I forgive, them. I forgive them all. I just want to be helped. You just I what? Them. I forgive them. Okay, good. Well, then we're there. Okay? Now close your eyes. All right. Thank you. Gum. Gum. Okay. Father God, this woman got abused by Craig. He used her body for sex he disrespected her he did not love her he lied he was using her for orgasms and his own perverted amusement and tonight wherever Craig is Lord I ask you to go find him and heal him I ask you to forgive him for what he did to her and tonight, Lord, she already said she forgave him. So that's all done. So now Craig's demons through sexual perversion and adultery must come out of there. And every other man she slept with and committed adultery with, those evil spirits must also come out. And anyone she slept with, Lord, I ask you to forgive her. She opened the door to the dark side, and she's paid a terrible price for that. But tonight, the love of God and mercy is hers. The love of God and mercy is for her. And she will never be abused again. So right now, all three of us agree, all four of us agree that Craig is to come out of there right now. Craig, come on up right now. Take a breath and blow. Keep blowing. Come out, Craig. Come on out, Craig. Craig, come out. You set you pervert. Come out of there. Come out of her vagina. Come out of her womb. Come out of her tummy. Come out of her lungs. Come out right now. Craig, come out. Every ugly man. Come out. Come out. Come out. They know she's scared, so they're hiding in there. They're not coming out. Okay. She, she wants to quit. See that? That's what it is. She wants to quit. So, we'll do it. In the authority of Jesus Christ through his resurrection. And a girl. Amen. 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 Come on. This woman here, uh, she's got long term man abuse and uh, kind of sadomasochistic with a, with a guy named Craig. Guy named Craig. He he used her sexually, abused her, and she's scared. So 
she wants to run. So I tried to get her to go with the program and that failed. So now I'm, I'm trying to use her, her friend, to do it. That's what I'm doing here. To get her ready to get delivered. She's not ready yet. None of the demons would come out. Who's the guy with the hat? This guy? Huh? This guy? The guy with the hat, yeah. The hat? Behind him. Oh, that guy? Oh, he's, he he helps out with the altar. Okay, he gets buckets. Crying, right? <laughs> oh, no, you're not crying. Okay, okay, okay. Huh. No, see, she's... She's trying to use her mind to figure it out. See? So this gal here. Yeah. Hi. Hey. I was explaining to him that uh, I got saved and born again in prison, right? In yeah, lockdown. good. And uh, when I got out of prison, I went to the Dream Center. And uh, when I got to the Dream Center, I had a lot of enemies in prison, right? From prison gangs. And uh, when I got to the Dream Center, there was a uh, guy in the dream center in prison right and uh they all knew my name you know what i mean because i was involved in a, a, a case back in 1998 with the uh it was a conspiracy to, to uh commit murder and, and it was in the news and everything right so a lot of people know my name and uh but anyways when i got to the dream center uh the guys from prison uh, were spreading a lot of slander and gossip, saying that I was a rat. And then uh, there was a guy that uh, had been molested in the Dream Center, and uh, I used to uh, listen to his testimony and try to minister to him. And uh, so, because I used to uh, like try to minister and uh, and talk to the guy. They started calling me a child molester. Now, uh, you know what, I mean? what, and, uh, what do you need God to do for you? I, I, I'm just trying to uh, bring it out into the light. Bring what to the light? This all this slander and gossip. Okay, and, that no, that's that's not what you're supposed to be doing. So, all right. So, how how do I deal? With you're deceived. This? Excuse me. You're deceived. The devil tricked you. They're deceived. I mean, there's plenty uh, lies and gossip. They're, they're deceived, but they got nothing to do with you. Right. You're deceived. I, I, I forgive them. I, I, oh, I good. for them. I bless okay. them. And uh, I ask God to forgive them. Good. Perfect. And I, I let go of all the anger, the hatred, the bitterness, okay. resentment. Just let them go. Don't right. don't exactly. worry about. I put it in God's hands. And you don't need to do anything else. He'll he'll do it. All right. Now what you got to do is get these spirits from prison out of there. I've been saved and born again. Yeah, but uh, that this is deliverance. I already know you're saved. Deliverance doesn't work if you're not saved. Right. I don't have no. Uh, I'm not here for deliverance. You're not. Okay. I'm here yeah. to. Just ask for uh, prayer and uh, ask for uh, God's power and uh, protection and to uh, expose the okay. lies of the enemy. Yeah, okay. Well, let me ask you one last question, then, and uh, Joe's going to pray for you. When you were, you went to prison because you was a criminal. Right, you were committing it. crimes, right? All right, let me tell you. Let me, no, uh, no hold, on, hold on a second. No, I don't want your testimony. Hold on a second. When you went to prison, you were a criminal and you were committing crimes and you were loaded with demons. And I got saved and redeemed. Okay, now, hold, on. Oh, hold, hold on a second, sir. After you got loaded with demons, then you got saved. Right, let me show Where did the demons go? They left. No, they didn't. They were cast out because the Lord, I'm telling you. The, the Lord, Bible doesn't teach that. The Lord baptized me with the Holy Spirit and with right. fire. Right. The Lord revealed himself to me right. right in my prison cell and sprinkled me with his blood. I believe you. I believe you. I believe you. And then he baptized me with the Holy Spirit. Excellent. Fire. Perfect. That, But that's not deliverance. And deliverance. All the, it, it's a, I'm telling you, it's, it's like the Apostle Paul. I pray this prayer no, with no, Apostle no, Paul. No, uh, sir. That's not deliverance. I believe everything you said. It's a spiritual attack. The enemy uh, is a thorn in. Yeah, like but, but the, the demons from your criminal life are still in there. Right. 
They're oh. in your body. They're not in your spirit, man. They're in your body. I have the spirit of God in In, in your spirit, heart. man. In your spirit, man. The demons are in your body. And you got you picked them up when you were living in vicious sin. You were a hardcore sinner. And demons came in. And in the Bible, Lord, del me from alcohol, no, drugs, and Lord, that, those aren't demons. I know God delivered you from that. I believe you. But in the Bible, the Bible specifically says deliverance requires casting demons out, and they come out in a certain way, not the way you've described. That's not scriptural. Demons don't come out of unbelievers. Demons come out of unbelievers. Deliverance is for the children. Deliverance is the children's prayer. Are you a child of God? I don't know if you need this or not. Oh, no. No, no. I don't know how you do it. I'm not sure how you do it. Well, the, the, this is very common. A, a lot of people don't believe Christians can have demons. Yeah, and he doesn't believe it. See? This, this guy here uh, that I was talking to there, I struck out. He doesn't believe Christians can have demons. And that's a major block. So I just try and give them a little truth, then I back off them so they don't get mad at me. Right? Yeah, she left. She ran because she's got fear of demons and she didn't want to deal with it right now. So that other girl, her friend, she'll probably bring her back. So I just plant, I just plant a seed. So sometimes you can't help people, you just plant a seed in them. That's all. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. She was here. Yeah, she was here a minute ago. Um, is that her? Well, she's probably here. But anyway, I wanted you to get exposed to all this and hear it, because you're you're a fast learner. You'll pick it up quick and take it back over there. I know that I've got something I'm trying to get rid of, because I can tell by the back. Oh, there's something still in there. My back is still there. Yeah, that's got to come out. Yeah, so that's what I think. So, but I wanted to, I wanted to, to, to be of help first before it Yeah, me. Uh, me too. I want you to do that. Yeah, yeah. This is only. Yes, yes. In Minnesota. Okay, come here. What's up? You want to meet me? Okay. I wanted to meet you and say hi. Mike. I'm Cheryl Young. I had emailed you. Oh, yeah. Getting down, down with the group. Yeah. And I just had some very powerful deliveries. Love you. Love you. I'm glad you came down. Yeah, I heard your testimony about your daughter. I had a son that got injured oh. in, in an accident, and he's still in a wheelchair. Oh. But, but what your testimony is called. Yeah, my daughter in a wheelchair. Touched my heart. Yeah. 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 I don't understand everything. I don't either. And I don't have all the answers, but I don't either. We both know one thing: God's faithful. Yes. Yes, he is. <laughs> He's so faithful. <laughs> Close your eyes. Okay. Father God, you see this beautiful woman standing here? She's got a loving heart. I could feel it when I hugged her. She is a loving person. And a lot of people don't see that in her. And a lot of people know that, but they don't appreciate it. And a lot of people know that, and they appreciate it, and they use her. And so I'm asking you to give her the anointing now of peace. And I ask you, Lord, to go get her boy. I want you to go get her boy tonight. And put your hands on him. And I want you to lift this burden of his disability out of her. It's right in here. All the disappointments, all the work, all the exhaustion, all the emotional pain of his disability in the name of Jesus must come out tonight. All right, take a breath and blow and breathe. Come out of there. I release my son into the hands of the Lord. All this exhaustion, all this caregiving, all this work, all these burdens of a disabled son. Go ahead. Thank you, G. There it is. There it is. Keep, good girl. Pray harder. Keep praying. Let your tears go.
Let your tears go. Come out. Burdens, carrying burdens. Now, I release my son now. I let him go now. I release him into your hands, casting all our care upon him, for he cares for you. I release. Release my son. There, there it is. Keep coughing. Keep coughing. Here it comes. Here it comes. Keep coughing. Here he comes. Come out of there. You spirit of disability. You spirit of disability. The demons from the wheelchair. Come out. There it goes. There it goes. Come out. Come out of there. Let's go. Let's go. Let him go. Go. My son has to go tonight. He has to go. Go. There it is. Good girl. Let him go. Let's let him go. Yes, I release my son. I release my son. Yes. Yes, there it is. Right. There it is. There it is. Hey, Mike. Chris, now, what do you need prayer for? My daughter lost her custody of her trial by she's in the room. I'm uh, I've been studying uh, and building a, a my intimate relationship with Jesus. with Jesus. I'm not perfect, but I feel like I'm okay. But um, you speak in tongues yet? I've never done that. But if oh. I knew how to help pray for these other people, I don't really know the right, yeah. right well, way I, to do that. Oh, I do. Okay, I'm now. What uh, about your background? How did you come up with, uh, about this? Well, you, I, you don't have time for that right now, probably. No, I don't. But uh, close your eyes. Thank you, G. What's your name? What? Christopher Dodd. Christopher. Oh, wow. Lord, Christopher has had a very difficult life. Uh, the stuff he has seen. Wow. The pain he's seen. All the heartache he's, all the soul wounds, the fear spirits, the loneliness, all the things he's been through, all the tough times he's been through. I pray, Lord, the anointing will come upon him. I pray, Lord. But all these spirits from childhood, all the verbal abuse, all the rejection from when he was a kid, all of it has to come out. And that fear demon that jumps every time I touch him, that demon has to come out. Because he wants to be used in ministry. He wants to be used to heal the sick. He wants to be used to cast out demons. And before he does that, he has to go through deliverance. And everything in there that he's collected over the years has to be removed. I'm asking you to open his eyes to see the spirit world. Give him the anointing and the desire to be clean. To be sanctified and holy. Give him the anointing to receive his gift of tongues so he can pray in the Spirit and pray with his gift of tongues and worship with his singing in tongues. I pray the anointing falls upon him so that he sees himself and what you want to do with him and through him. I ask you to forgive him for all the horrible sins he committed in the past. He was a hardcore sinner. But mercy caught up to him. Mercy hit him. And I pray, Lord, you will bring him to sanctification. And that jumping fear demon, that, that thing's going to go. 
that thing's got to go. Fear from childhood, in Jesus' name, heal. Thank you, Jesus. Randomushandra Vashatresa Velomakatre Mushata. Heal. Heal. My ear, my ears, I have, I have an ear infection. Oh, you got an ear infection? Yeah. Oh, the right, left ear? Left ear. Oh, okay. Where are you from? From Phoenix. Oh, you live here? Yeah. Have you been here before? Yeah. Oh, yeah? Okay. Uh, what else wrong with the other your ear? Um, for uh, just insecurity, insufficiency. I, uh, I'm uh, uh, just, uh, just seeking the flesh. You know I mean, I, I, things of the flesh, I, I mean, I... I, I and then, when you was little, did somebody hurt you real bad? No. How about as an adult? No. Did a woman ever stab you in the back? Yeah. Uh, was it your my my son's mother? Your what? My son, my son's mother, my my, my first. Oh, okay. What's her name? Uh, Marty, Marisela. Marisela. And uh, did you used to hate her years ago? Um. Yeah. Now, what'd she do to you? She, uh, she cheated on me. Oh, she I, cheated yeah. on you? Yeah. And One did she friend. leave you? No, I left her. You left her? Yeah. And then, uh, where's she now? I don't know. I'm talking to her. Oh. Does your son... Does she take your son? Mm -hmm. uh, have you seen your son? You haven't seen him either? They disappeared? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, close your eyes there. Lord, I want you to... Uh, Go hunt his uh, son's mother. I want you to go find her and hunt her down. I want you to tell her that uh, he and I uh, forgive her for stealing her son and for committing adultery and for cheating on him and then running off with another guy and rejecting him and turning her back on him and making him look like a fool and embarrassing him in front of his friends and family and all the heartache he went through because of this horrible situation. I ask you now, Lord, to bless him and forgive him for committing adultery with her and having a child out of wedlock. I want you to forgive him for what he'd done because the devil made him pay for it. And I pray, Lord, if there's any sin in his life tonight, he will confess it and leave it right here at the altar. Any sin whatsoever. He will turn his back on it. I don't care what it is. Anger, frustration, cursing and swearing, pornography, lusting after women, whatever it is, these spirits all need to come out right now of his throat in Jesus name and the hatred he used to have for his girlfriend is to be renounced and that demon of hate is to come out tonight in the name of Jesus come out right now in the name of Jesus I take a breath and blow come on out devil come on out come out of there Satan I command you to come out in Jesus name come out, come out there right now and go Come out right now. Hatred for my girlfriend. Bitterness. Anger. Bitterness. Lust. Drugs. Out. Come out. Hatred. Come out in the name of the Lord. Come out in Jesus' holy name. Come out. Come out there. Come out. Hey, brother. Mike, what do you want to ask me? Oh, no, I wanted to pray. Um, I don't know if you remember. You remember me coming last time, right? Yeah. So my wife, I don't know if you remember. 2008, I brought her, and uh, it was amazing. Are you still her. with her? Yeah. yeah, she was with me uh, a couple months back. Oh, the daughter of Bob and Wishcraft. Oh, Santa tried to kill me uh, in October. 
Oh, and what they read, so for the mouth. We look at that divorce. Uh, oh. Fighting for it, we're counseling. Do you want divorce? Say again? Do you want a divorce? It would be me. Uh, I've, I've been through quite a bit. I've been abused. I've been abused. I've been sound crazy coming from there, but I've been abused. Um, Do you want to leave her or stay with her? God told me that I made the deal with him. So I'm going to stay. I'm going to endure. Just need strength. Okay, well, I'll show you how to do that. Okay. Now just close your eyes there. All right. Lord, see this big guy standing here? He has been stabbed in the back and stabbed in the gut so many times, it's unbelievable. And he's got wounds in his soul in here. Wounds. And those wounds translate to negative emotions. Particularly when someone abuses him or speaks against him critically or negatively, he can feel pain right now. And the Bible says in Matthew chapter 5, bless those who curse you and pray for those who despitefully use you and love your enemies. And that's hard to do when they're abusing you. But the Holy Spirit is able to give him the grace to do that. And right now, Lord, in Jesus' name, I want you to go find his wife and tell her that he and I are praying for her and he is not going to say or do another negative thing to her the rest of his life. He's going to obey the word of the Lord. Love your enemies. Bless those who curse you. And pray for those who despitefully use you. He has been used despitefully. He has been lied to and cheated on. And tonight... None of that matters. The only thing that matters is, Lord Jesus, I love you. And I'm going to do exactly what you said. I'm going to love my enemies. And I'm going to bless those who curse me. And I'm going to pray for those who despitefully use me. And I'm going to be healed even if they don't want to be healed. Thank you, Jesus. All right, now go ahead and ask God to bless her and heal her. There you go. Good. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You speak in tongues? Not as of you. No, you don't speak in tongues yet? Okay. Now just list, just repeat after me, okay? Okay. Rumo shatrasa. Rumo shatrasa. Demo savi. Demo savi. Bekoba. Bekoba. All right, did you notice how easily you're repeating that? Mm -hmm. Did you notice how I was speaking in uh, syllables, short syllables? Well, let me, let me, let me correct that. Um, I've prayed in tongues. Oh, you have? Oh, okay. There's amazing things that happen. Oh, it. there you go. That proves my point. Ready? Go. Go ahead and speak it out. I have it done like that. It was it was me explaining for me. It was uh, a friend that called and I was praying for one of those. And he said that I started talking another language. Who I did? Didn't know he I did. What am I? No, I did. One of my friends. I said oh, that I okay. Go ahead and do, go ahead and do it. Uh, I can't do it on command. I've never done it on command. Well, it's okay, but you can do it. I don't know how. I don't know how. No, it's coming from your spirit, man. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's not there. It's not here. It's in here. Right. When I was doing that, it, I, I wasn't doing it here. I didn't know it here. No. I was speaking it out. Huh. It's spiritual. Okay. It's not mental. No. I believe in tongues. Oh, hard. But I was just raised with, I guess it's a mindset when I'm speaking in tongues that someone needs to interpret it or I'm praying in tongues. No, that's true. If you have the gift of, gift of tongues and you give a message in church, right. there's supposed to be an interpreter there. Right. This is different. This is your personal yeah, yeah, prayer I get language. That. I get that. Personal prayer language. I, I want it bad. I, want I don't it. have that other gift either. I don't. I don't have that gift. Gotcha. Gotcha. I just have the personal prayer language. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. So you just relax and release it. So you already have it. It's in your spirit, man. You're you're holding it back. Hmm. Sometimes your mind blocks it because you get bad teaching. Yeah, that's bad. Okay. Or sometimes you're scared. 
Yeah. It feels intimidating. Okay? So I try to make everybody just feel comfortable and relax. Okay? okay. <laughs> I try to be a nice guy about it. <laughs> you don't have to. <laughs> I want to. <laughs> and sometimes people who are intelligent, like you are, sometimes they're so smart they overthink it. So the best way is just kind of relax and release it. Okay? That verse I quoted earlier was Matthew five forty four. Can you go? You memorize that tonight? Mm -hmm. Okay, and use it on your wife, okay. and the whole thing will turn over. So if I, it was Matthew. Hey, hey, hold on a minute. Uh, hold, say right there. Uh, Matthew 5:44. Okay. Uh, did he pray for your ear yet? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. That'll do it. All done. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Already. Yep. Rumusha da velomasi yeposha mama. You repeat after me. Okay. Do remusha da dia mama. Tondarama shandarabasi. Tendarama. Good. Tondarama shavasha tivera mo. Good. There you go. There it is. It's coming on you right now. Speak it out. Release it. It's right there. Feel that anointing? Boom. It hits you right there. Keep going. There it is. Keep going. Speak it. Yes. Speak in tongues so he can hear you. Speak it. Come on, don't stop now. Hey, keep going. Anything. Speak it out. The anointing's on you right now. There it is. Thank you, Jesus. Slower. Slower. Speak it out. Did you feel that anointing earlier? Did you feel that touch? Speak it out, sir. There you go. Good. There you go. Speak it out. Good. Thank you, Jesus. Good. There you go. You're doing great. Just release it. Any syllable. There's no wrong answer. There you go. Good. Perfect. You don't need to listen to her. You just release whatever you want to. Just go ahead and release it. Oh, no, you no, just speak it out. That's okay. Yeah, you did good. I heard myself. <laughs> it is amazing. Keep keep going. Keep going. Yeah, so you can do it at home like nothing. Oh, it's happening right now. Go ahead. Keep going. Hey, will you speak in tongues right here so he can hear you? Hey, did you do that Bible study I gave you? On That's your ticket. Speak it out. Hey, Mike. Good to see you. Yeah. What happened with me was I got born again like on fire, you know, like I saw the ball. And once started going to church, like that's what you're supposed to do. That's what you're supposed to do. And they took me under their wing, and I got all this. I was there for over ten years. I got all this like church hurt and messed up stuff. And I, but, but I was hitting the streets and I was doing all this like, signs and wonders, everything, miracles. And then when I left there, it was all church hurt and I could get healing and stuff. But <clears throat> there, it was like the fire and the passion for like evangelizing and stuff was gone. Mm -hmm. And I was just talking to these guys in the car today about that. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what he talked about. Mm -hmm. You speak in tongues? Yes, sir. Okay, come on out here. Now listen, uh, your gift of tongues will fix everything you just said. It'll snap off the church stuff and all the doubt and unbelief. So what you want to do uh, is mix it up. 
like a pitcher. Yep. So if you've got a 105 mile an hour fastball, you know, that'll work for about a month and a half. And then they'll time you. And they'll be rocketing shots out of the park. You gotta have a curveball, knuckleball, change you gotta have everything to be a major league pitcher. You can't just throw it 105 mile an hour. You get killed. And you do that with your tongues. Okay, so what you do is you mix it up. See, you do, uh, you speak in tongues, and then you flip to singing in tongues, you know? Rumo shadrava vashendemo. Remo shava. Eora remo shaluvaluia. Arandora vea. Then you do it aggressively. See, I call that war tongues. See how he's mixing that up? You see that? Already, so oh, you do it? Okay, go ahead. But I haven't done that hmm? uh, aggressive. Oh, okay. Right. All right. Ready? <laughs> raise your hand. And then, did you notice you just giggled? Yes. Yeah, that's that spirit, fear spirit. Okay. He's, he's a coward. Okay. Fear demons always work with coward spirits. They're partners. Okay. Paul said, God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of yeah, that was mistranslated. The word fear there is delia. It means cowardice. See? And that's what you have. You just giggled. Because you felt insecure and a little embarrassed because I was kind of shoving you around. Yeah, and I'm only doing that to save your life. Because <laughs> I love you. So that's why I treat people like this. Plus, I don't have much time with them. <laughs> so I got to get my thing in. You know what I mean? That's why I'm doing it. But that giggle there... When you see that in somebody, that's the coward demon. It's a coward spirit. When he giggled, that's insecurity, shyness, insecurity, cow, Dalia spirit. Whenever you see that in somebody, that's what it is. Okay, so your war tongues will crush him. He'll he'll just smash, you'll smash him. Okay, so you just do this like I'm doing. See, you take command over the devil. You smash him. Right? Right? Did you see what I was doing? Yeah. Okay. Ready? Yeah, you're doing it. Ready? Go. Good. See? See that? <laughs> see that? Did you see that? Go ahead and repent of it. If you pray for her, she is no more important to God than you are. Okay. Every person has the same value to God. They're all equal. So if he's a serial killer and you're a nun and you're a, a aid worker in Africa, they're all love the same. God's love is the same for everybody. His anointings and giftings and all that are all different for everybody. But his love for each person is the same. So I have his love the same level as Adolf Hitler. We're all the same. But my anointing's a little different from Hitler's. That's all different. Right? So your value is the same as hers. So if you have a less value, you are believing in antichrist doctrine. 
And you can't be antichrist and serve God. That's not even possible. So you got to repent of seeing yourself less than anybody else. Because that's a lie. Go ahead and repent of it. Did you? Did you? You repented of it? Okay. All right. Stand right there over there. Stand over there. Stand over here. All right. Go on, Joe. All right. Ready? Now we're going that way. Ready? We're all going to do our war tongues. Ready? One, two, Three. See that? Now when you get back to Minnesota, you get your prayer group together, and that'll draw down the anointing. Boop. He'll fall right in the lap of the whole group. Take that back to Minnesota, okay? It works. All right, now uh, we're going back that way. Now we're switched to singing in tongues. And singing in tongues is the highest form of worship known to man. Okay? Worshiping in English is good. Spanish is fine. But glossa, glossa is the highest level, okay? So you just... Speak in tongues, you put a little hum to it, and go. Rumu sharia, elura rushi, hondoro veloa, oribusia. Boom. Take that back to your prayer group in Minnesota. And they just have them stand around in a little circle and start singing in tongues. You'll be shocked what happens. Shocked. The Holy Ghost loves Jesus' praise. He likes that. Trust me. He loves it. He can't lose. Okay? So when you're ministering to somebody and they giggle like that, that's a coward spirit. You've got to deal with it right on the spot. Nervousness, shyness, fear, cowardice. They go, oh, I'm inadequate. <laughs> oh, I feel embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. No, you can't be embarrassed and have the Holy Ghost because he makes people. <clears throat> Seven times around the building. Seven times around the building. Did we do it? No, I haven't done that yet. <clears throat> I, don't, I would have done it, but the building would have fallen down. Then I. Then I got to call the insurance. Uh, who wants to deal with the adjusters? YouTubers, this is Brother Mike. It's been a wild night here. I wish you were here to see it. I th on second thought, you were. It's on video. Listen, I want you to go to the website, hardcorechristianity.com. I want you to get uh, the teaching button at the top. Just click that teaching button. I need you to read two articles real quick. Uh, number one, How Satan Controls the Mind. That's one article. And then the other one is uh, Satan's counterattack. Tonight, uh, whatever you got from God, no matter what it is, uh, the devil's going to try and steal it from you. He's going to hit you within 48 hours of this service. Within 48 hours, you're going to get hit. And you've got to be ready for it. And the third article I want you to read, I don't normally ask you to do this, but we were singing and doing war tongues tonight. Read the article on the teaching tab on glossa. The glossa article, that's the Greek word for speaking in tongues. It means a language you did not learn. And once you develop your own personal prayer language, you become spiritually a very dangerous poison. See you next week. See you next time. Sunday morning podcast, 9 o'clock, next Friday, 7 o'clock, all mountain time.
And don't forget about our Zoom service, Wednesday nights at 7 p.m. Mountain Time. And Brother Rick will be here Thursday night for his deliverance service. Man, that thing is powerful. 7 p.m. Mountain Time. See you next time. Love you, folks.